Hello, it's me. I'm uh, over here working in the shade. And as you can see, I have a large Fresnel lens that I'm using. One of many that I have. This is uh, this is one of my favorites. It's uh, relatively clear. It used to be crystal clear, but it's gotten a little fogged up from a lot of sun exposure. This is a gigantic one that I have, which is a, a spot lens as well. And then this is the very first lens that I ever got. It's a uh, linear lens, and it's kind of fogged up. Uh, it was a little disappointing when we first got it. It has a real archaic frame on it. You can see we did it ourselves. And uh, this lens is good for heating up food and stuff like that. But other than that, it doesn't really have much use because most of the sunlight gets blocked out because it's a fogged up lens. Coming back over to this one, you'll notice that, uh, as I said earlier, I'm working in the, in the shade. And if you look over here on our building, which is a, at least 15 feet away from the lens, you can see a lot of light shining over there. What we've done is we've taken a series of mirrors. We've got one there, one there. We've got six mirrors. This mirror's not that good. It sucks. This mirror's bigger, and it's uh, an optically perfect mirror. This is another crappy mirror. That's a really big mirror. It's not optically perfect, but it's big, and it gives good results. And we have uh, another crappy mirror and an okay mirror. These are all on uh, mirror stands that we had built. I've got 175 of them right now. And uh, you can see that they are shining towards the Fresnel lens. Okay, right now I'm in front of the mirrors. You can see my shadow casting across there. If you notice that the, you can see a reflection of the mirrors. This is really helpful because it can uh, aid you in pointing them all in the exact same spot. Now we're gonna go to the other side and I'm gonna show you what happens. You can see that there's six beams going across there. You can see that there's one, two, those merge together. See, you end up with a really long beam. Keep in mind, I'm in the shade over here, so I'm not out. I'm not out in the direct sunlight. The mirrors are about 65 feet away. You can see the length of the beam that this just did. This is here. There's our mirrors. One advantage to this is that all you have to do is nudge your Fresnel lens to the right or the left, depending on which direction you are. Just do not make the mistake as uh, I almost did by going to the back side of the Fresnel lens to move it. Always go to the front because you'll end up with uh, six nice burn holes on your chest. Okay, I've just moved it over a little bit. We're going to go to a fresh part of the stick. Now 
This part's not burned. I'm going to stop it. You can see that there's three burn marks on there so far. Those are the three good mirrors. The little crappy mirrors aren't doing much, but they're adding extra heat. You notice how close they are together. The further the mirrors are from the Fresnel lens, the tighter together the beams will be. The closer they are, the wider the pattern is. So if you wanted to stretch this over the entire length of the stick, you'd put the mirrors very close. If you wanted them really tight, you'd get them as far away as possible. We've done them uh, up to 200 feet. After that, the distortion of the mirror starts to make things go kind of crazy. You need perfectly flat mirrors for that, which are uh, very expensive to get um, with no distortion at all. But when you go that far away, what happens is, is all those beams are literally right on top of each other. Okay, we're going to a fre fresh part of the stick again. I'm going to zoom in. Maybe we can see those beams. See, the stick catches on fire pretty instantly. We're getting about 80% uh, sunlight from each mirror, each of the good mirrors, maybe 40% from the little crappy ones, but uh, all right. Okay, I'm standing in front of the Fresnel lens. And as you can see, all the mirrors are shining on my shirt. And right here, it's probably 135 degrees just from the mirrors without any Fresnel lens or anything. So mirrors are a great way to add extra heat to your project without going through the lens. They can keep the air around it at a higher temperature. All right, we're going to another part of the stick. We have really good sunlight right now. Okay, you can see we got four burn marks from the four, four mirrors are actually working pretty good right now. Basically what you have now, the way that these mirror stands are set up, is they give you an easy way to redirect the mirrors. Um, a heliostat on each mirror would be ideal, but that's a whole different story. I've got some that I've worked on and they kind of work and got to work the bugs out of it. But if I could get six mirrors to turn in tandem and one on the Fresnel lens, I could pretty much have a spot over on this side that would track the sun all day long.